Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to upload a course to Udemy. In this video we will demonstrate all the steps required to upload a course to Udemy. So watch this video till the end to better understand this process. Click on teach on Udemy at the top right side and on the next page click on the get started button. After successfully logging in or signing up, you will be asked some information about yourself and your teaching experience in three steps. This is the first step and here you will be asked, what kind of teaching have you done before? The given options are in-person informally, in-person professionally, online and other. Select the option that best suits your experience and then click on the continue button. Now in the second step, you will be asked how much of a video pro are you? The given options are I am a beginner, I have some knowledge, I am experienced, I have videos ready to upload. Select the suitable option and then click on the continue button. Now this is the third and the last step and you will be asked, do you have an audience to share your course with? The given options here are, not at the moment, I have a small following, I have a sizable following. Select the suitable option for yourself and then click on the continue button. Now on this page you can find some valuable information regarding courses like from here you can learn how to create an engaging course. Here you can find how to get started with video. Here you can learn how to build your audience. And from here you can join the newcomer challenge. And when you think you're ready for creating your course, then click on the create your course button. Now you will be asked some basic information about your course in four steps. This is the first step and here you will be asked what type of course you are making. There are two options here. First is course. If you want to create a rich learning experience with the help of video lectures, quizzes, coding exercises, etc., then you should continue with this option. And the second is practice test. If you want to help students prepare for certification exams by providing practice questions, then you should continue with this option. Here we are selecting the course option and then we are going ahead and clicking on the continue button. In the second step, you will be asked about the title of your course. Enter it here. We are going to write something like learn how to make professional videos for YouTube. If you can't decide your title now, then no worries, you can change it later. And then click on the continue button. In the third step, you will be asked to select the category for your course. In the drop down menu, you will find many categories. Select the suitable one for your course. This can be changed later and then click on the continue button. In the fourth and the final step, you will be asked how much time can you spend creating your course per week. If you're willing to spend zero to two hours, then you have to select the I am very busy right now option. If you're willing to spend two to four hours, then you need to select the I will work on this on the side option. If you're willing to spend more than five hours, then you have to select the I have lots of flexibility option. And if you're not sure how much time you can spend, then you have to select the option, I haven't yet decided if I have time. Select your preferred option and then click on the create course button. Now from here you need to fill in all the details about your course. In the left sidebar you can see three sections with some steps which you need to fill out. The first section is plan your course and its first step is intended learners. In this step, you need to fill in some description which will help learners decide if your course is right for them. The first question is, what will students learn in your course? And in these boxes, you need to submit at least four answers. The second question is, what are the requirements or prerequisites for taking your course? 
And in this box, you can list the required skills, experience, tools or equipments learners need to have prior to taking your course. And the third and last question is, who is this course for? Here in this box, you need to write a clear description about the intended learners for your course who will find your course content valuable. Once you have filled all the responses, click on the Save button at the top right corner. Now the second step is the course structure. Click on it. And in this step, you will find valuable tips, requirements and resources required for your course structure. We recommend you to go through this page carefully before creating and submitting your course to avoid rejection. The last step in the first section is set up and test video. In this page, you will learn how to create professional looking videos and you will also get tips, requirements and resources required for creating your videos. You can also create a sample video before creating the complete course. For this, use the create a test video button to submit it for review. Now the second section is create your content and in this the first step is film and edit. Click on it. On this page you will find tips, requirements and resources needed to film and edit your course. The second step is curriculum. Click on it. Here you can start putting together your course by creating sections, lectures and practice which can include quizzes, coding exercises and assignments. If you are intending to offer your course for free, the total length of the video content must be less than 2 hours. Here the first section which is the introduction is automatically created. Use this content button to add content in this section. If you hover your cursor along the left corner of this section, you will see the plus icon at some areas. You can use it to add content at those areas. And the last step in the second section is captions. This is an optional step so you can skip it. The third section is publish your course and its first step is course landing page. Click on it. On this page you need to create a landing page for your course. Here enter the title of your course and then here enter the subtitle. Now enter your course's description here. From here select the language. Select the experience level from this drop down and from here select the category and the subcategory. Now in this box enter what is primarily taught in your course. And then from here upload the course's image and from here you can upload a promotional video as well. The second step is pricing. Click on it. On this page you need to select the price of your course. From this drop down select the currency. And then from here select the price and then click on the save button. The third step is promotions. Click on it. And from here you can copy your course's link and promote it anywhere. And the last step is course messages. Click on it. On this page here you can write a welcome message and here you can also write a congratulations message. After completing all these steps, you will see a tick icon across all the steps and once you are done, click on this submit for review button. Your course will be submitted for review and you will get an update about it in 3 to 5 working days. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to upload a course to Udemy. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you benefited from it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment about it below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.